So the, the next trace you're going to see is the, is the fish hook trace. You're going to see a lot of this. This is, uh, and, and everything's in your package there, but our, our notion is that the toes are the brakes, the heels are the accelerators, and your ankles are the propulsion system and the shock absorber. We'll go over that in detail. But the first trace, the scatter trace, XNA, the, the second trace, the abbreviated trace, they all set up 5560 on the, on the lead side. But the second pressure uh, notion we learned was the amount of pressure you get to the trail side depends on the length of the club. So for a short club, 55, 60, longer progressively. So the center of mass is very stable on, uh, he already talked about a punch shot, but also a short game shot. So if they're hitting wedges, uh, chips, pitches, uh, uh, flighted wedges, all this, it's gonna have a, uh, an abbreviated load to the trail side. Um, the reason for that, and, and it's important to note that there is a load to the trail side, because these players, especially in their short game with their center of mass, can look very stable or even quote unquote left. But you know, roughly about uh, uh, almost 20% of your body is your, your hands and arms, right. and the club is swinging in that direction. So interestingly enough, as though they are stable with their center of mass in the short game, again, moving, not moving off it so much, they are sending mass to the trail side, and, it's, and the body track will pick that up with their hands, arms, and club moving that way. Um, again, it just won't be the load that you'd see with longer clubs or when it comes associated with power. Andy Plummer was one of our early adopters and Stack and Tilt fellow, great guy. Uh, really, yes. we still stay in touch with him uh, a lot. And Andy would never send us his traces because uh, <laughs> it didn't, t it turned out that... I got him anyway. Yeah, we got him anyway. So, <laughs> but all, he, all of his players, they all move the pressure to the trail side. It's a common question we get, um, you know, Mac O'Grady, uh, the golfing machine, uh, and Andy Plummer stack and tilt and all that stuff. Does the pressure get to the trail side? And absolutely it does, even though the mass is not, is fairly stable or what they would say is even slightly uh, in a side tilt up. So this doesn't prescribe a swing philosophy or a dogma, right? It doesn't matter what system you use or have your own. You still move pressure around in, in a similar manner. And so, you can be everybody from the flavor of the month, George Gankus, uh, to, to Jim McClain. This is a very useful tool and helps your students see what those interactions are with the ground. So guys, Jake, uh, Terry, yeah. if you see a scatter trace, yeah. do you find that you go right away to the abbreviated trace and then you end up with the fish hook? Is that kind of like a progression that oh. you might end up seeing? So that's a great in, question. In, uh, development? I, what, what I would, and I think you're asking that so I can answer because I think you know it. But uh, I, if I see a scattered trace, actually the first thing um, that I would probably get someone to do is actually to load sides. So um, instead of getting them an abbreviated trace, which obviously in the short game I would, um, what I tend to do is uh, if I either have them throw a ball because no one will have any problem shifting pressure at the appropriate time to throw a ball out there. Maybe. As long as they, maybe, yeah. <laughs> These uh, days. It depends, depends on the clientele. And or uh, even if you had them throw the club onto the range, which I always tell them is, is fun because then you get to leave your lesson telling them all I taught you how to do was throw clubs because you're going to be frustrated anyways. And Jake's a four letter word, so go ahead and use it. <laughs> but uh, so if you start, uh, if you get someone throwing, what you'll see is one, they'll start moving a little bit more athletically and they'll start loading sides. It might be a little bit bigger of a move, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it starts getting them uh, more coordination sooner. And then obviously you can kind of rein that in by centering their center of mass. Uh, for longer clubs, load size, but for shorter clubs, yeah, absolutely. The single leg drill, uh, right? A single axis drill, Toski was the first one I saw uh, do that in a golf magazine, probably in the 80s. Um, stand up on the lead side, and again, uh, you'll see that the, the center of mass and the center of pressure, especially only being on one foot, will be fairly stable.